It's important to end a song on a good note, so to speak, so it's a good idea to work out your endings. Most of my playing is either solo guitar or voice and guitar, so that's what I have in mind as I talk through some ideas, but you can apply these to all sorts of settings. One of the easiest ways to end a song is to repeat the last phrase a few times. When you jump back and repeat the last phrase, it's a cue to your audience that you're about ready to wrap things up. If you're ending a blues tune, it's very common to play the last four measures a couple extra times. If you're playing with a singer and you want to use the last part of the song as an ending, let the lyrics be your guide. Check out the lyrics and see which phrase makes the most sense to repeat. Usually it's going to be the last four measures or the last eight measures. Here's Nature Boy. When I look at these lyrics, it makes the most sense, at least to me, to repeat the last eight measures. But when I look at the last two lines of My Romance, it makes more sense, at least to me, to repeat the last four measures. Most of the time a song ends with a singer holding out the last note, but it doesn't always have to be that way. You can end a song with an instrumental. And often an intro that you use can work as the ending as well, especially if your intro is a chord vamp. In other words, repeating the same set of chords over and over again. Wave is a classic example. It usually starts with this D minor and G vamp. <laughs> so forth, and it ends with the same vamp. Or maybe you worked up some other intro to a song. See if it works as an ending. Here's a short intro I wrote for Love You Madly. Love you madly, right or wrong. And it makes a nice ending. Let me see the day you'll say to me, I love you, love you madly. If you've put a lot of thought and effort into your arrangement, make sure you spend some time putting together your ending. And it doesn't have to be fancy. As a matter of fact, simpler is often best. Check out this video if you're looking for ways to add an intro. And for more guitar lessons, music theory, and solo guitar arrangements, please subscribe. Thank you.